Hello, my name is Ambrose. I've got this mountain Katie did here. They're native to Eastern Australia. They have long, wispy antennae. But unfortunately for her, she is missing one. The body length of this Katie is 5 centimetres or 50 millimetres. The female is squat, flightless and is not very good at jumping either. But she does have very long legs. I wonder if some creatures might think she's a big spider. Hmm, I wonder if some people might think she's a big spider. Because she has long legs and a chunky body. Unfortunately, the female can't call. But she can camouflage. She uses that as her main defence. Until she's touched and feeling threatened. Then these mountain catered use a post-attack dimatic display. A dimatic display is used to startle the predator. She's beautiful, isn't she? For her dimatic display, she lifts both of her wings and shows this beautiful coloration of red and blue. She also inflates a membrane behind her head. The membrane is between her head and her thorax. This display could deter predators because they may be shocked by the unusual sight. It's quite interesting. They may also predict that she will be distasteful because of her bright colours. Which is actually true. She does not taste good because of the flowers she eats. The herbivores and live mostly in high altitude grasslands, heathlands and woodlands. I'm at Jellaby State Conservation Area. We're on a mountain so you probably hear some wind. Her wings look a bit like dry brown leaves. They even have little veins in them like a leaf. Look at her calmly eat that plant. How about we watch her eat for a little while? The male is elongated, which means he is very long. And he actually has fully formed wings, so he can fly. And the male's called to court the females, defend their territory, and deter predators. With her camouflage, she looks a bit like a gum nut. She has a gum nut shape. She cannot jump very far, but I have seen her do a few continuous jumps. It's very cute. I think I can hear a lyre bird. If you listen carefully, I think you might be able to hear a male lyre bird calling in the background because it is a very interesting repertoire of bird sounds. Mountain katydids often lay their eggs in topsoil. The female will dig a small hole, lay her eggs in that and then carefully bury them and then flatten the soil down with her little feet. It's really cute. The eggs will hatch when the conditions are just right. I better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe and you can join me on our next adventure.